And a jolly good morning. It's uh, Saturday morning and, um, well, just almost afternoon, actually. Just heading, just sat outside the central station here in Berlin. And just going to jump on a ice train down to Leipzig to see some bands tonight. So uh, I'll be back here in Berlin tomorrow. So let's see how the super efficient German ice trains do today. It's showing on time. It's only a short journey, just about, uh, around about an hour and ten minutes. Uh, it does cover quite a distance in that time when you look at it on the map. So I'd be interested to see. Uh, the train's on its way anyway. Left Hamburg on time and carries on to Munich, I think. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's see how they do. Next stop, Leipzig. See you when we get there. And away smack on time. Uh, considering the number of people that got on, off, on and off here in Berlin, um, you can only really put it down to the fact there was a 10 minute dwell time to allow for all that to happen without any delay, which is pretty good going. So we're off. Next stop, Leipzig, in about an hour and 10 minutes' time. I'm going to listen to the new Rammstein album. Well, here we are in uh, Leipzig, and um, first that was a really good journey down there from, from Berlin. The ice train was uh, on time, clean, and uh, I, I managed to find a seat in the quiet coach, which was good. And not only is the train quiet, but the people inside it were quiet as well, which is a bonus. Nobody appeared to think that the please be quiet sign didn't apply to them, so all good. We got here an hour and 10 minutes. And uh, well, Leipzig station behind me is absolutely enormous. It's, uh, I mean, when, when does a train station stop becoming a train station and, and become a shopping mall? Because it's, it's both of those things. Huge shopping mall in there, there's everything you could ever hope to find. And of course, some trains, believe it or not. So uh, that's it, I'm gonna go and find the hotel now, have a bit of a rest and then dig into this city. I've got 24 hours here, including going out to see some bands tonight. So. Uh, busy, busy, busy. Uh, watch out for the separate videos on uh, Leipzig itself, on the 
gigs tonight and uh, I'll add some more to this about the journey back to Berlin tomorrow. Take care, see you soon. Good morning and welcome to uh, part two of my little Deutsche Bahn jaunt between Berlin and Leipzig. And I'm just checking out the hotel now and my train was due to be in just over an hour's time. But I've just had a nice little pop-up from the uh, Deutsche Bahn app to tell me the train's delayed by about 28 minutes. So, um, no great hurry, no big deal. I'll get back to Berlin eventually and it's not gonna be, not gonna be too bad. Um, good thing, upside, the app clearly works. It lets you know that the train you booked on has got a delay on it. And uh, if you're going to be held up at a station anywhere in the world, Leipzig is probably pretty much one of the best ones you can go to. There's tons of stuff in there, plenty of places to sit down and grab a coffee or something to eat. So uh, all's good. I'm going to check out the hotel now, head, head over the station. And apart from uh, getting on for 30 minute delay, which of course never happens on German railways, he said. Um, We'll see how Deutsche Bahn do on the way back to Berlin. It was smack on time yesterday, clean train, quite busy, um, quite quiet. I'm not in a quiet coach today, I don't think. So um, I'll see how that compares, because it was beautiful yesterday in the quiet coach. Let's see. Right, well, um, just noticed there's a train on time. The one that should have been an hour earlier than my train. Showing this heavily loaded, so I'm just going to go and try my luck, see if I can get on that one instead. I'll just get back to Berlin and put my feet up for a few hours. We'll see how we get on. But uh, the other, yeah, I've got another hour and a half, nearly two hours wait for my train, so hopefully I can jump on this one back to Berlin. Let's see what they say. Airport. It's about 20. I, I didn't actually count them, but uh, certainly a heck of a lot. Seems sort of possibly more than you'd actually need. Well, it's Sunday morning, so maybe it's just not as busy as uh, as during the week. But yeah, it's a huge, huge station. It really is. And again, there's no through platforms, so of course, if trains come in here from north to south, east to west have to come in here and change ends, terminate and change ends to go back out again. So that always takes a lot longer. Great station though.
Well, good afternoon. Here I am back at uh, Berlin Hauptbahnhof Central Station. Uh, that was a very nice smooth ride up from Leipzig. Um, smack on time. Admittedly, I changed trains. Uh, got on the one that was actually running on time. The one I was booked on uh, was running about 30 minutes late in the end. I noticed it left 32 minutes late. So um, I'm here an hour earlier than I originally should have been. That's all good. I had a quick word with the train manager. Uh, technically speaking, I shouldn't have changed the ticket I had, but um, he said, given the circumstances, or at least I think that's what he said, uh, he let me. But um, that's not necessarily going to be the case for uh, all train guards or managers. But uh, this particular one was uh, quite friendly. It was uh, packed out, quite busy. I wasn't sat in a quiet section this time. I was just sat in a regular section, but... Everyone behaved themselves. There was no marauding drunk crowds making loud noises or anything like that. It's quite peaceful and uh, um, respectful. So it's pretty good. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll be doing some more fairly soon. If you want to see them, click on the um, subscribe button. Uh, I'm going for a rest now. And then I'm off to see a band tonight, Aesthetic Perfection. There'll be a separate video for that monumental gig here at the Friends Club in Berlin. See ya. Well, here we are back in uh, Berlin. Same hotel, different side of it this time. So instead of a uh, view of a central courtyard, I've got a view of the uh, outer stretches of the Hauptbahnhof. So this is a train spotter's paradise. Not that I'm a train spotter in any shape or form. I do like traveling on trains and planes and everything else, but uh, I know there are a number of you out there that uh, that are train spotters and you would absolutely love it here. Room 505 this is, room 505 at the Intercity Hotel Hauptbahnhof Berlin. If you want to um, come and spend your trip time in Berlin looking out the window at trains then uh, this room's for you, or I guess room 605, 705, 405, they'll all be on this side of the hotel. Anyway, that's that. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a rest now. I'm back in Berlin, obviously a band tonight, so looking forward to that. I'll um, put the final touches to this um, uh, walking tour, stroke transport tour of Berlin tomorrow before I set off back home.